push for a walk signal. You've all seen these things from way back when, even back when it was just a plain little button with no sound or visual effects. You may be under the impression that if you push this thing, it'll help speed up the process so you get the walk signal. And then after a couple minutes, no change, you'll think it's a piece of crap. It doesn't actually work. If that's the case, then it doesn't work the way you think it works. Here's the reality, when you press it, then when the time comes for the traffic going your direction goes forward, aside from left turns of course, the walk signal turns on, and then you, being the walker, get the right of way, making left and right turners forbidden to cross. Whereas if you don't push the button, then when the green light going your way turns on, you don't get the walk signal. It would leave left and right turners to believe that you're not crossing the street. So if anything, it gives the same effect as turn signals. It's called communication, people. It saves lives. When one street on one intersection is typically slow, trust me, you can tap that button every second. It won't change. Also note, you should not be pushing the button while your street is crossing. Otherwise, the next time, the signal will not work. If you teach your kids how this really works, you may avoid risk of damaging the button from pushing it several times and even losing patience very easily. A message from Watertown TV, where we connect, capture, and create.